All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to go ahead and start right where we left off. We're going to keep going with the uh, high voltage systems. So I uh, got most of it laid out. Uh, I didn't get a lot of comments, so I'm hoping that means that I got things laid out correctly. But we're going to go ahead and kind of fabricate the box, and then we'll get on to kind of the charging circuit and go from there. All right, so I think I either over tightened or got the wrong plastic. I'll have to go back and check this out, but these guys are all cracked. So we'll remake them. All right, so the plastic, um, again, I did some, uh, call it some dumpster diving. The, my, my company has uh, scraps and things that are free, kind of free games. So, uh, I got some which I thought was some polycarbonate, but it, it was actually a PETG, so it's a lot more brittle and prone to crack. So we're just gonna replace everything with the polycarbonate. All right, I got everything remade. Uh, holes cut for kind of the bigger cables and got things uh, ready to go. So gotta just put the top on and go ahead and put it in the car. All right, so ran into a little problem. Gonna have to do a little redesign. So basically, um, I had the uh, essentially the cables for the motor coming out the uh, I'll call it the front here. And basically, this one's coming right out here, so that's not gonna work. And essentially, I don't know that I want this one coming out. It's gonna have to kind of wrap around backwards anyway. So I think I'll have them. I don't know. I'll see if I can't kind of put some holes over here. But uh, yeah, that's where we're to. All right, got it all kind of uh, tucked away and secured. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, making some cables that go to these places and put them in and try and get things uh, tidied up as well as all these cables that kind of go up and around. So we'll see how far we get. All right, I'm trying to still decide where to put the, uh, it's like the charging outlet here for the car. All right, so my leading thought is just, uh, <clears throat> gonna be on the other side but kind of have the charging kind of right here so I'm gonna go ahead and wire everything for a location right around there but if I change my mind I just get longer wires all right so for my charging location it's gonna be right around here so I'm not quite sure if it'll be on the outside or inside but again I'll have the wires kind of the length be kind of around this area and uh, again so far my Thought for the charger is just right here on top of the batteries, but uh, maybe it'd be better somewhere else. 
So let me know if you think it should go somewhere else, but, uh, and then again, my high voltage box is gonna go right in there. All right, I got it all wired. Um, so again, on this side, got all the pins, and this side, they're coming out. So we've got, uh, yeah, we'll have to wire it up to the uh, wire it up to the charger, and see if we're brave enough to kind of start doing some things. Lots of wiring going on. Um, I've got this, uh, this segment over here done. So this goes to the DC to DC converter um, as well as just the ground. I've got a whole bunch of wires going in here. I, what I need though is I need to get uh, one wire that's uh, 12 volt switched and another one that's just 12 volt constant. Um, so the switched one I've got planned to go activate the uh, DC to DC converter contactor and then the uh, always on is going to go to the charging board there. So I need to go find those wires and run them through then I can start buttoning things up. The only other thing is uh, so I got these nice holes drilled for kind of all these cables and things. It's tight so I just don't know if I'm actually going to be able to put things through how I want so we may need to improvise. So I thought I'd take a break and uh, let you see where we're to. So I believe I've got all the, uh, call it low voltage wires, um, running through here and to all the right spots. So everything's plugged in. Um, for the most part, I've got all the, uh, again, like all the wires kind of bundled and looking nice. 
I, again, I need to route them so they look nice, but so that's that's kind of where that's to. So the other thing I've been doing is I got all the uh, BMS wires plugged in. Um, again, I think I'm going to take some of this uh, orange, like the shielding cable, just again because some of that's going to be high voltage. So I'll just kind of like I've done on this other side, just kind of put it there. I've actually got um, I don't know if you can see. But I got my first high voltage wire that's going to be on the negative side for the first um, battery pack. So that one runs from there, essentially all the way up through the frame, through the front, and will come out uh, on the first battery module um, right here. So basically that one will get connected here, and then I'll connect all those in series. It'll come back to this one, module five, and you really can't see. Anyways, I've got, let's see if I can show you. Here, right there. It's still kind of hard to see. But essentially that down there is going to the battery five, battery module five, and then I've got this one here that's gonna essentially go from five to six, and then the positive here will go to the switch which I still haven't decided quite where I'm going to put that. But then the, when it comes to the switch, I'll have both packs joined at the switch and they'll come back in here to the positive contactor. So still kind of uh, lots of wiring. So I am getting pretty close though. I'm thinking maybe even next week we'll be able to turn everything on and uh, hopefully get the motor spinning. That'll be very very satisfying again lots lots of wiring so got a lot of lot more wiring and uh more cleanup to do kind of trying to get things all looking tidy um, my thought is just so you can this whole back area here again the seats kind of go in front of this uh in, in front of that frame right there the frame member so that's kind of where the seats go and you can see this kind of crossbar here um i'm gonna make the fiberglass shell kind of has like, instead of following that, it um, behind each seat, it's kind of got, goes more straight down. So it's got like a little cubby behind the seat for storage. So I'm gonna have to re-fiberglass. My thought is I'll use that as kind of the new point there. So it'll just go right behind the seats. And uh, batteries, everything will be on this side. And this will kind of be just a whole high voltage area. All right, so that's all the time we had for today, but I uh, just wanted to recap where we're at. So I've got the uh, box here installed, all the high voltage stuff's in there. Um, I'm just now running the high voltage lines. So again, things are looking pretty good. I've got the battery modules in place, all the BMS connectors are in. Again, got a little bit of wiring cleanup to do, but uh, yeah, hopefully next week, I'll be able to get the uh, high voltage lines uh, to the motor and then also to the battery packs. And at that point, fingers crossed, but we will turn on the motor, see if we can get it to spin. All right, that's all the time we have for this week. See you next week.